1,000 meters, the babies stand to attention, they're often racing and they've come out fairly decently over here. It's Summer Odyssey who shows that speed just in behind them, Global Force rides up there, Global Banker got two to make up, Queen Lagertha of the filly about three or four lengths or the leader. So in front is Global Force, the red jacket, Summer Odyssey on the outside, Global Banker, a bit green on the inside, about two or three lanes saw them, and then comes Queen Lagatha, who's out back as they run up towards the last 500 meters. So in front is Global Force with Summer Odyssey and Global Banker on the inside. Now being asked for more by Bling. Still got two to make up at Summer Odyssey who comes at Global Banker. In the middle is Global Force. There's not much in it. Only a length in it. A Summer Odyssey confidently ridden by Richard Ferry goes on by. In second is Global Force and Global Banker flat to the boards. On the inside is Global Force. Global Force comes right back at Summer Odyssey. Summer Odyssey or Global Force. Maybe Summer Odyssey ahead of Global Force, then Global Banker, and a long way back to Queen Lagatha in fourth. Pulls out all the stops. You can see Richard hasn't gone for the doctor just yet. Nursing Summer Odyssey along the filly. Comes right back at Global Force, who showed a bit of heart out there. And these two horses went five lengths clear of Global Banker, who's probably looking for a bit more ground. He's a nice big individual, but yes, Summer Odyssey, the filly, to do enough. Well done to ASSM Racing Syndicate, to Mr. Chudder and to Mr. Rippon. Congratulations, and of course, a big well done to Alan Kreff. Well, it's a case of third time lucky for Summer Odyssey as she finds the winner's box off the back of two competitive seconds. And uh, Richard, you've got to give it to her. She's taken on literally bigger horses. This is a light-framed filly and uh, she, she doesn't have a, a brilliant action, but she's workmanlike and she gave you her all today. Yeah, um, she, you can see her action going down. She cuts yeah. daisies. She's very little light-framed filly and last time when I rode her, she wasn't the same horse as today. She went down very, very quiet. And I thought, okay, maybe that three weeks apart was maybe a bit too much. And uh, Mr. Griff can give you all the details. He said it's freshened her up. He's done nothing with her, just cantered her into this race. And you could see the difference in the horse. She was aggressive going to the start. She jumped well. She yeah. was on, you know, on the bridle early. Um, still running around a bit green, but uh, uh, a little filly. I don't know how much more is there to come from her, but uh, she she was game and managed to keep her head in front at the lo at the last uh, 20 or so. We actually honestly felt b uh, beat going through the 200, but she showed a bit of heart today, and obviously the experience just came in underneath her, and she won a nice race. And I've got to say well done to you because you know you had only a squeak more to come, and you got that squeak out on the line. So well done. Yeah, you just got to sit tight and hope it goes your way. Um, you know she's giving me everything and. Uh, uh, a lovely win. So, well done to Mr. Khrif, to the owners, thank you so much, and to my sponsors, the winning form. Brilliant. Good start to the day. Keep it up. Thank you. There you go. Good, great riding there from Richard. You know, when you've got a filly that that's little, that that is that little, like he said before he came on here, you just got to keep her balance. You've got to make sure that you've got everything going exactly her way, so that when you push the button, she can strike and she got her nose down where it counts. And Alan, you've always said that she'll get there, she'll win the race, and um, she she's she's done just that today. She's she she has done you proud. Yeah, no, it's, you know, she's a filly that looks like she'll be a two-year-old and uh, mm. she's done pretty well. She's been placed in all three of her starts and uh, today Richard uh, said to me he was going to let her just be quiet and try and hold her up until the end and you saw, I mean, that second horse came past her. Yes. Richard just kept a little bit in reserve when he asked, she gave it and she won a very nice race. So, uh, well done to the breeders, I think Fast Fontini, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and um, to the owners, ASM Racing, uh, Mr. Warren Rippon and Arun Charter. Um, very well done to them. And, you know, they've got a couple of horses here in the Eastern Cape and they're turning out the winners. And uh, thank you to them. And, uh, you know, there's a little check on how Neil's it's going to give me, bar. which is going <laughs> so to on which, that note, uh, help. There is that wonderful Bloodstock South African Maiden Juvenile winner bonus, 100,000 Rand. For people that have a good number of horses in racing, it's fantastic to get that extra help. 100%, you know, this goes a long way to paying for this for Lee and uh, helping them maybe look for the next. Okay, well, Neil's going to take that away. And first, now you're, now you're going to work for work to get back to it. And we're going to touch on a couple of your runners coming up. I know there's a couple of horses that can um, help you find the winner's box again today. The ones that I've singled out, Travel Master, he, over the 1,400-metre trip, he said that uh, Richard thought this would be a trip that would suit him. Bella Belize and Phoenix, 
I don't know if you can put your head on the line to split those two, but I'm sure you'd say follow them both. Delicacia loves the 1,000-meter trip, and you end up with a decent coupling of Heathcliff and American Landing. Yeah, Nate's, uh, I think you're spot on with all those horses. Uh, you know, you go to uh, uh, Phoenix and Bella Belize, I think uh, it's not going to be too much between them. It's not It's not a, just a race between those two fillies. It, it's quite a strong race, although not too big. Um, but uh, Phoenix has always been the bridesmaid yeah. rather than the bride. She's got a one and a half claim of Rachel, which just opens that gap a little bit more. And hopefully, you know, she can use that... Uh, to the full advantage. Heathcliff working very nicely, not drawn well, but I don't seem to be too concerned about that. And uh, Delicacy runs well, especially after a little bit of freshening. And um, Travel Master, Travel Master 1400. that 1400. was my query to you. Yeah, yeah, you know, Richard's been keen to put him over a little bit further and, uh, you know, his form's been consistent. If it doesn't work out, we'll come back to the, the sprints again, but uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And uh, I think, you know, he's got a, a nice chance. He's looking extremely well. He's full of dapples and uh, most probably of all the horses, he most probably coat-wise looks the, the best that's running today. And, uh, you know, while I've got this opportunity, very well done to Richard on a great uh, oh, week on the Met piece. and uh, followed through on Tuesday. I said, bring your luck to P. Richie. So hopefully <laughs> this is the start. <laughs> and I'm very sorry, I missed out Aphrodite. Yeah, Aphrodite working nicely. Um, I know she bled... Uh, it says in the race yeah. card last time in the in the Western Cape, um, Touchwood, uh, she hasn't shown any signs of bleeding yet. Okay. So uh, hopefully it's just a once-off, uh, looking well, not working nicely, and uh, hopefully I think she's a big runner. Fantastic, Alan. Thanks for the breakdown, and very well done for some Odyssey. Thank you. Some Odyssey uh, daughter of Master of My Fate, as Alan pointed out, very well done to Breeders Farsh Fontaine Stud. She's really done uh, the yard proud, placing behind two useful sorts and coming out on the third time of asking to score that win. Very well done to the ASSM Syndicate, of who the nominee is Mr. Chada. Colours are getting very well known here in the Eastern Cape and, of course, throughout the country, and I'm sure you'll be chuffed with that win.